everyone. Today is part two of the top Frisco gated neighborhoods. If you did not see part one, that's okay. I'm gonna put it at the end of this video. So if you wanna watch this and go straight on to part one, you can to get caught up. But Frisco is really turning into being a very luxury city. And that's because we've got lots of companies moving here and it's driving up the sales price and the uh, average incomes. So the median household income is right at 165, 165,000 um, per year. And then the average salary is about 85 to 90,000 a year. To put that into perspective, the average Texas household median income is 75,000. So compare that to Frisco's, which is 165,000. You can see there's quite a difference there. And you know, with the fact that so many things are being built here. You've got the star with the Dallas Cowboys. You've got the new Omni and the PGA, which is a flagship whole entity of itself. You've got Fields West, which is Legacy West, but 10 times bigger. And it's gonna have the Ritz Carlton and all kinds of high-end shopping and restaurants on the water, all at the fields, all next to the PGA. And you just are driving up the luxury aspect of Frisco. So that's why I really wanted to talk to you guys about the gated communities here. So in no particular order, we are starting here where I am now, which is Windsor Point. Windsor Point is in a really good location because it's literally right off the tollway, but you can't hear, like you can't hear the tollway from where I'm at, where I'm at. and it's a smaller community. So there's about 50 houses. Some are still being built, but um, from Windsor, you're going to be 30 minutes from downtown Dallas. It's a quick jump on the highway, shoot down there. You can go all the way up to Prosper Salina. Heck, you can go all the way up to Oklahoma from here. The coolest thing about it is you have everything nearby. You can literally walk to shops. You can go get coffee. You can drive to entertainment. There's trails. You can bike, walk, doesn't matter. Um, it's just a really, really cool area. It's also close to what they've called the $5 billion mile. And it's now gonna be called the mix. They're about to break ground. The first phase is gonna be built within the next three years. We're gonna have a grocery store and outdoor area for kids to play, urban townhomes. It's gonna be a really fun mixed use area. So one of the cool parts about Windsor Point is that it is a zero lot line community. So if you are wanting a house that is a full on house, but yet you want that low maintenance lifestyle, maybe you travel a lot or you just don't like doing lawn work this is a great community for you and so there are about 50 houses in this community so it's very small very tight-knit gated which is really nice they started building at windsor point in 2007 and really ended in 2022 there are some new construction that are being sold right now and so if that if you want to be in a smaller community and you want new construction then reach out because there's actually one listed right now there are three listed and they're all around 4,000 square feet and they're gonna be anywhere from 1.1 to 1.4. And I'm walking over here because I want you guys to see the view. This sits up on a hill. I'm gonna spin you around, but it's a pretty cool view, view from here. So I just wanted to show you all that. And this also goes to Frisco ISD because some of the gated communities don't. So pay attention to that if that matters. Some of them go to Louisville ISD, which is also equally rated high. But um, if you want specific uh, Frisco ISD, let me know because I can make sure that happens. All right, well, in that case, let's go to the next community. So now we're here at Heritage Lakes and guys, this is a sight to be seen um, because there are so many great amenities in this subdivision. And I'm gonna show you over my shoulder. You've got the pool back here, which is a resort-like pool, but you also have the lazy river that just winds around. And as we're walking, I'm gonna show you in the background and then I'm gonna walk you over there. It's just got lakes galore, which is why it's called Heritage Lakes, but it's got a nine hole golf course. And so it just kind of checks a lot of boxes for a lot of people because first of all, you're going to see families walking all the time. It's really family oriented here. They have tons of events and I just want you guys to see how beautiful this is. Um, it's just serenity 
is a good word for it. I'm gonna go out on the bridge so you guys can see. But this, these lakes run all throughout the neighborhood. And so, um, gosh, it's just so pretty and calming. Um, so if you're into aesthetics and golfing and water, then this is definitely the place for you. They have, that community center is 6,000 square feet. It's a club room, ballroom. It's got a fitness center in there. You can host events in there. They have a lap pool. I just showed you the resort pool in the Lazy River, the nine hole golf course. They've got a cabana. They've got a hot tub, playgrounds. Of course, they've got hiking and biking because a lot of the subdivisions around here do. I do want to point out that the residents here have to have a membership to the Lakes Tennis Academy and what it does is it allows you to play tennis complimentary league play they've got indoor showers and a lounge and it gives you discounted private lessons junior league and all of that so just know that that membership is there another thing that you need to know about heritage lakes it's it, it's not frisco isd it is Louisville isd so if that matters to you then let me know because although this is beautiful, there are other places in Frisco that will give you that Frisco ISD. But hear me when I say Louisville's ranked really high as well. So it just really is gonna be a personal decision. Most people move here because of Frisco ISD and what that has to offer their children. So just contact me or put it in the comments below if you want to know the differences in Louisville ISD and Frisco ISD. Location wise, we are south of Lebanon and west of legacy this is really close to where i live and it just is hop on hop off to the dallas north tollway you've got great shopping you've got great restaurants it's still you know all of frisco is about 30 minutes from downtown dallas but you can kind of get anywhere from here really fast so it's a great location you're looking at probably 15 minutes to the pga which is North Frisco. This is South Frisco. This is almost as South Frisco as you can get, which is why it's Louisville ISD. Also guys, don't forget, comment below or text me. If you have questions, I am always available. So uh, here's my texting phone number, reach out or email us. We're gonna get your questions answered and everything you need to know about uh, life in Dallas, Fort Worth, we're here for you. All right, so let's go to the next subdivision. Something I forgot to tell you. Oh, and look how cute my little dog is about heritage lakes is the price point is a lot better it's anywhere from 600 to 800 thousand and the square footage is going to be anywhere from 2500 up to 4500 so it's really really well-sized homes for that price point everybody say hi to ellie Okay, now we're at the Lakes on Legacy Drive. And if you're not super familiar with Frisco, Legacy is one of our main roads and it takes you north and south all the way through Frisco. And this place, guys, it's like the lap of luxury. And it, it's different than Heritage Lakes, which we just came from, because Heritage is very family, kids, playgrounds, Lazy River. This is Serenity, luxury um, feels more adult and it's just stunning so you can actually get a house here on this lake so this is your view and it's just really pretty there are 274 homes in lakes on legacy and they're just super high end they're going to be anywhere from 25 2700 square feet all the way up to 7500 square feet there are some really pretty ones and my personal opinion is there are some also some not so cute ones and so definitely ask me because we can find your style there's definitely lots of different styles look at this this is an infinity pool that backs up you can see that how cool is that and so one of the main things that i tell people about lakes on legacy is that some of the houses go to Louisville ISD and some go to Frisco ISD. So again, if that matters to you, reach out because I can help you identify which ones are which because um, a lot of times that's important. We have another waterfall feature here. A lot of these homes have them. And what's cool is they made an entryway because I'm on a walking path that goes all the way around the lake. And so you can access it from your backyard. Some of the amenities that Lakes on Legacy is going to have is they've got 24 hour gated and monitored. They also have a fishing pond 
obviously. They have a playground and they have hiking and biking trails. Inside of your HOA dues includes a membership to the Lakes Tennis Academy, which has a resort-like pool. It's got tennis. It's got all the amenities of having kind of that um, country club feel, but, um, and it gives you discounts on junior league and tennis, private tennis lessons and all of that. It's right across Legacy and you have all access pass to that. And just remember where we're located, you have super fast access to Plano, which is right here in the shops at Legacy West. So you can do all kinds of luxury shopping there, Tiffany's, um, Del Frisco's if you want a steak. And then you've got all of the close shop up north because we are at the very south portion of Frisco. It's just a really great area of town to get whatever you want. And so I would highly recommend this particular subdivision. And right now there are five homes listed anywhere from 800,000 up to 1.4, 1.5 million. So th that kind of gives you the range of this neighborhood. So now we're in the coveted Stonebriar Country Club and it's unbelievable. I am going to show you so much footage because the amount of money that they put into just the sheer landscaping of this whole subdivision and country club will blow your mind. It's got two 18 hole championship golf courses and it has a country club, which is why it's called Stonebriar Country Club. And it's just stunning. There are homes that are patio homes all the way up to full on mansions. And so you are looking at square footage between 2,300 square feet and about 7,500 square feet if you want one of the big old houses, which are stunning. There are 18 tennis courts. There's 24 hour gated guarded um, gates at the front, but there's also 24 hour on-site security that just drives around. So it's a very, very safe and guarded place. We've had cowboys that live in here and um, very well-known politicians. They have trails, they have playgrounds, they have a swimming pool and a fitness center. You can get a social membership at the country club or you can get a golfing membership. They're different prices. At the time I have filmed this, there are five houses that are on the market and they range from 1.4 to 1.9 million, but other homes can go even above that. So it really depends on your price range. If you're looking for the gated, guarded, 24-hour security, then um, text me and I can get you all that's listed here. I will say that this subdivision is zoned for Louisville ISD, but most of the people here will send their kids to private school. So it's a, you know, kind of a whatever you want your child to be in. I'll tell you guys a funny story about Stonebrow Country Club. I bought a house here at the foreclosure auction and it was a stucco house and I got a call. I picked out the paint because we were going to paint the outside of it and I got a call from the HOA that gave me a cease and desist on that painting of that house and I'm like what in the world and it turned out that my painters had gotten the wrong paint and they straight up painted that stucco house light blue and all the neighbors got all mad about it and so I don't blame them but it was super funny I drive up to the house and the whole house was light blue so you can only imagine everybody's horror and why I got a cease and desist from the HOA but I got the correct paint which was a creamy white and it was beautiful and all was okay in the world <laughs> Okay, I ran out of time on the other day, so I'm here again at Lexington Country, and this place is amazing because it's actually east of the Dallas North Tollway, but right close to Sam Rayburn, which is another Tollway 121 that can get you anywhere fast. So you're kind of really close to the Dallas North Tollway and Sam Rayburn, which is nice. And you can see the playground in the background. And this community is just really amazing. It is fully gated and guarded. It started being built in 2016 and ended, I think, in 2021. They have a huge clubhouse. They do have a resort style pool. They have a splash pad and they actually have a separate toddler pool, which is really nice to have. The clubhouse actually has a brand new fitness center and it has all the state of the art equipment. So that's really nice. It has a banquet hall 
And what's cool about the banquet hall is it has the big doors that raise up so you can have indoor outdoor with the pool. And so that is nice to have in a community if you want events or family gatherings or birthday parties. They have 17 acres of open space with parks and just areas to spend time with your family. They actually have seven acres that is planned for a big park next door. So that's gonna be really nice. So I would say the price range right now is in the mid 600s all the way up into the mid millions. So. So 1.5 to 1.7 is uh, probably you know getting up to the top of the um, price point but regardless it's close to a lot of businesses it's super quick access to Dallas if you need it but it's a great community in and of itself great architecture um, so let's go to our next and final destination Hey everyone, okay, I did not get to go into Rich Woods, but it's our last stop and I wanted to just do a shout out to it because I am close to it. I just did drone footage, which I'm gonna show you. But what's cool about Rich Woods is, first of all, it's gated and they all sit on quarter acre lots. So you've got a lot of more land than you would in a normal subdivision. They're all semi custom to custom, but you're super close to the Sam Rayburn Tollway, which is also 121. Remember, we have two names for all of our tolls here so but this community was rated one of the top five master planned communities so it does rate really highly i will say it's in the easternmost part of frisco so you're definitely further than all the other subdivisions i've shown you you're going to be super close to say allen and mckinney over on this side richwood was also selected by builders magazine in 2015 as one of the best sold communities like it sold really well when it was first developed so uh, they have great amenities they do have a clubhouse they have a pool with a splash pad um, just really great uh, covered pavilions it's a really nice resort style pool area they have a really cool slide for all ages as well and i think that's a lot of fun the clubhouse also has a whole fitness center with very modern workout stuff so that's nice and all of these kids that live in richwoods is going to go to frisco isd so that's a plus plus. and if you're wanting private school liberty is five minutes from here so it's kind of the best of both worlds because you've got excellent school plus a private school if you want it the neighborhood also does a lot of fun things for the people that live there they have um, pool events they have uh, um, movies in the park they have BYOB paint night they have so many fun events uh, with a community organizer and so if you love community stuff then this could be a really great subdivision for you homes are going to be anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 square feet so it's a good size house and I would say that you're looking at the low 900s all the way up to almost the 2 million mark for this specific subdivision this is an, a massive master plan community so just know that going into it it's huge in fact, they sold out so quickly, which is why they turned around and built Lexington Country, which is what I just showed you guys. So just know that it was a huge sellout event. Well, I thank you guys for joining us on part two of Gated or Guarded or both in Frisco, Texas. We have had a blast showing you. If you, again, didn't see part one, it's going to be next. Um, so check it out. But we feel like we have given you so much great information. If you're looking for Gated or Guarded anywhere in Dallas-Fort Worth, reach out, comment below, or just text us and we'll get you those answers. Until the next video, you guys have a great rest of your day.